Wario Star. It's gonna go for the number eight. Wow, this is all the stinking eights. I know eight's great and all, but come on. Now let's see what I can do with this. Uh, do you need money to fly Klepto as a free? Hello, friend. Well, if my memory serves me, you're a good old daisy. Well, I'll be. Uh, wanna give me five corns to take you over, you over the rear? Sure thing, Klepto. Uh, it's very well worth the price of admission because you can collect even more coins when you fly through here. So it's very, very good. Uh, you could actually have a chance of the volcano erupting and it has a bunch of coins to fly out of it. Unfortunately, that didn't happen just now, but whatevs. We'll see you later. See you later! Uh, we got... Okay, we're very close to the star, which is very nice. Uh, go with the mini one. And another Mega Mushroom. Cool, cool, cool. Waluigi is not having a very good day, and he's sulking in it by using a mini mushroom that has no purpose whatsoever. Pew, pew, pew! And he rolls a two! Watch that be the legendary space that has a legendary prize. Now, there are hidden blocks in this game, so there is a chance that we could one day have a random star coin uh, multiplier out of nowhere that will just change the entire game, but hopefully that won't happen if it isn't in my favor, at least. Uh, Luigi's got a 9, and a 2, and a 10. Oh boy. Oh, 21, my favorite number. Why is it my favorite number? I don't think it's... Uh, let's see, is he gonna run over me? He probably... Yeah, I'm gonna lose corns. How dare you? I worked very hard to get those corns, and that's what you get, Luigi. Wow. Oh, poor Luigi. How sad. Well, you got my corns, but I got the star. Maybe. Possibly. Something could still go wrong. Like this one versus three mini game. Go! Yeah, obligatory gold joke in every Mario Party 4 LP. <laughs> yeah, it's just a very funny mini game name. One player is the goalie. Protect their goal from the team player's shots. Get ten goals to win. Luigi move and jump, and Wario Daisy Waluigi aim shot and shoot. Got to hold longer for more power. Like this little Nintendo and Hudson soccer field. So, Mario Strikers, <laughs> I guess the very crummy segue is that, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Mario Strikers, honestly, like, out of all the Mario sports games, just like the one I played the least amount of, I like the style of it, I just like how dark and weird it is, it's just so sick and creepy just how evil everyone looks in that game for whatever reason, and I, for a long time I wanted a Mario football game, but it just doesn't really seem to be happening, and... It doesn't seem like we are going to be getting any more uh, Mario uh, Strikers games either because it's just been so long. Uh, there was that Mario Sports Party mix on the 3DS, which was just garbage. <laughs> like, it was a very poor man's version of like all the Mario Sports games. I really hope we could get another Super Sluggers game because I wanted to see that epic roster, like 20 million characters again. Hey, last five turns. Uh, oh boy, we're only the last five turns left. We should have the last five turns of it now, if you don't mind. This guy is totally me if I was a like, show host. First though, let's draw the lucky party ticket winning co combination. Or that means you better get out your tickets. And Waluigi's the only one who got a ticket, so he's the only one capable of winning a prize. Is he gonna win it? Let's find out. Oh, he's got the first one. He's got a chance, now the center picture. Nope, oh, unfortunately not. I think I could have rigged it in his favor if I, like, if I knew how to work the wheel, but oh well. That's too bad, no winners today. Well, this does happen sometimes. So I guess that's it for the lucky party ticket drawing. Now, let's check our player's progress. First place, Waluigi. Second place, Luigi. Third place, Daisy. Dead last, Wario. I love how it always says dead last, but how long will this last? Is there an upset waiting? Ladies and gentlemen, I simply don't know, nor do I care. And now, the last five turns roulette will begin. Our wheel spinner will be... Wario, why don't you do it? Please be something other than coin multiplier, because no one cares. Yeah! Oh, that's terrifying. Red spaces become chance time spaces. That's stinking terrifying. Every single red space is now a chance time. So that could turn things around in astronomical ways, I guess you could say. And this ends the last five turns event for this game. Ain't in there, I'm rooting for ya. 
Oh boy. Let's just get that star before something terrible happens. Uh, okay, I wasn't really expecting that to happen, like, right as it as it got activated, but no, thankfully not. Wario's going to the other side. I like that giant shy guy head. It's the shrine of the silver shy guy. No, it's just Olmec as a shy guy or whatever. Uh, no volcano eruption. You think a volcano eruption would, like, roast the stinking condor and be like, give us fried chicken or whatever. But no, apparently not. Hey, battle mini game! I like me some battle mini games, except for when it's Bowser's Bigger Blast. Uh, we got 20 coins! Good, good, good. Uh, Wario's the only one who can't afford it, but oh well. Uh, he's going for the butterfly one. I already know the rules. You know the rules, and so do I! This has been a very weird board. It's been like in a, in a daze, a hazy maze daze of daisy and weird commentary and stuff. Then again, I guess that's sort of the norm. Uh, get the butterfly, get the butterfly, butterflies fly away, I say, butterflies fly away. I feel like I'm just gonna end up seeing this on every single time we get this one, so you know what, I gotta like come up with different things to talk about, different songs to sing when we go through here. Uh, we got Daisy here, so, I got a girl named Daisy, she almost drive me crazy, I got a girl named Daisy. She almost drive me crazy. She knows how to love me, yes indeed. Boy, don't you know what you're doing to me, to the fruit. Okay, this is the first thing that comes to mind, of course, because Daisy and stuff, and that movie's amazing. Seriously, I haven't seen it, you need to. Uh, speaking of other movies, I saw the Christopher Robin movie at long last. I know it's like, people have been dying to see it, and I've been wanting to see it for so stinking long. Unfortunately, it sort of, it was sort of disappointing, I gotta admit. It was not as great as I thought it was going to be, because, I don't know, it seemed like it was gonna be something more than just, like, the, uh, stereotypical trope of, like, oh, hey, the CG characters come into the real world land, and they make the real world guy's life miserable, and then they gotta make up for it somehow, and then they're friends again, and they'll live happily ever after, but I thought it was gonna be something different. It seemed like it was gonna be something different, like, Christopher Robin would be accepting of them right from the get-go, and there would be some sort of something different within it, but it just really didn't seem that way, and it was just kind of generic and stuff. So that was kind of crummy and unfortunate, so it was still cute, there were like moments that like, I cried in and it was emotional in some parts, but it was not nearly as good as I was hoping. I guess I just had such high expectations for it, but oh well. I watched the Tigger movie like right beforehand uh, to get myself prepared for uh, the new Winnie the Pooh movie, and I bawled my stinking eyes out. <laughs> it was It's so stinking heartbreaking. I'm glad that that movie's actually good, it's just, just like a childhood thing. Like I still watch it today and I still love it and it's still good. Cause there are plenty of like other childhood things that I like, I love back then but I watch them nowadays and it's just like, oh god this is horrible. And like I have just bad memories to look back on which is really crummy. But the Tigger movie, my god, if you have not seen it, you need to see it. It is so stinking good. I've been meaning to like write a big stinking essay on how great that movie is. Oh boy, I think I love Tigger and I love the Tigger movie. What I love even more is that I finally have a stinking star. Uh, don't stress out, here's the next one, you guys. All the way over there? What? Wario's right sinking next to it. Come on, that's not fair. Oh, he's got zero coins though. Okay, it's fair again. We got, uh, number six. The non-existent member of the kids next door. Wait, no, there was a number six. Oh yeah, that was a hamster that turned into a robot or something. Uh, sorry for spoiling kids next door. <laughs> uh, let's see. Luigi goes over there. And no duel because it doesn't exist. Uh, we got ourselves. Avalanche! We saw this one, right? It was like... No, it's not Winter Ski Spree, it's Avalanche. I gotta remember what this one is. It's... Oh, I know it is this one. Okay. What's Winter Ski Spree, then? I feel like that's a different minigame from a different Mario Party. Sorry for spoiling the Mario Party minigames for you. Yeah, I'm just, like, ruining every game and show ever. Oh, that is also the Midnight and Beyond way. Uh, one of the games that I'm considering being one of my last Wii games is Wii Ski and Snowboarding. I don't know, like, it looks fun, but I, I know, part of me knows I'm just never gonna play it, just sort of like, oh, come on. <laughs> part, of me, part of me knows I'm never gonna play it, just like I've heard good things about it and stuff. I remember being super disappointed with Mario and Sonic, the Winter Olympic Games, because, like, every event is just, like, a different type of snowboarding and skiing, just, like, it, it was very samey and not as much variety as the original Olympic Games, so, uh, it was kind of unfortunate, but whatevs. Got, uh, corns for Luigi. 
But yeah, I'm just sort of considering what... I think I need three more Wii games until I have 100. Uh, one of them I want to get is Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I know that's like a very rare and expensive Wii game, but... Uh, I'm hopefully we'll be able to find it. I got One Piece Unlimited Adventure recently. I've always sort of avoided the One Piece games because, like, I had One Piece Grand Battle and, uh, all the four kids One Piece games back in the day because, uh, Kid Me, again, he gave a lot of different games a chance back then that normally, uh, current me wouldn't do nowadays. But the reason I've avoided One Piece games for so long is because, um... There's always going to be new characters and new stuff added to One Piece that- Oh, that would have been a perfect opportunity for a stinking Mega Mushroom. Oh, that was stupid of me. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Where's the star? It's over there. Okay, you guys get to live to see another day, I suppose. I guess if I was going to go this way anyway, then it wouldn't matter. Oh, hey, speaking of coins. What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, the reason I avoid One Piece games so much is because, like, there's so many new characters being added and, like, new worlds and new stuff, uh, over time that I feel like there's- the new games just could become better and better and then, um, the old ones are gonna become, like, out of date or whatever, so I'm waiting for One Piece to end and then I'll just play the ultimate One Piece game that gets released, like, right when One Piece is finally over. That's sort of what I've been waiting for, but whatever. We got two new battle mini games here. Uh, this one I'm more likely to win, so I'm gonna go with this one. Got paths of peril. Walk the narrow path without falling to reach the goal. Move around. If you run carelessly, you will surely fall. Be careful. Keep your cool. Keep it cool. Caw, caw, caw. So yeah, you just gotta walk on the narrow pathway and hopefully not fall. Uh, but yeah, uh, that Shonen fighting game was really sing cool. That E3, that was really amazing. I can't wait to play that. Even though, really, the only franchise from that trailer that I actually care about and I've actually experienced is One Piece, but I don't know. Just I, I am not sure what I think about One Piece games. That there are the really cool looking ones, but then like I don't know. It's just like, is it actually gonna be good? I is there gonna be just like a rehash of the show? Is it gonna be a new story? Like I don't know what I'm gonna be getting out of it. But I wound up getting the One Piece game for the Wii just because like it's always been like on my radar and it got like a big price drop recently. Like, it was seventy dollars for a long time and then it got dropped to like twenty five. So. That was pretty cool. And hey, I got first. And there's no real victory thing, because you gotta see who's second and third, so you can find out how to distribute the coins, so everyone just sits on the screen all awkward-like. And Luigi gets second. Looks like Wario's about to get third, probably. Uh, or the time can run out. That could happen, too. Uh, nope, there you go. Wario got third, and while Luigi's fourth. Doesn't even get to finish, and like, I was just hanging on the edge. And, wow, he, like, walked around and was, like, floating midair. They're floating in midair! How do they do that? Nice chunk of change right there. And I got the pity coin! Hooray! Wow, I got more coins from that than I would have gotten from using the Mega Mushroom on all of them. So that was very cool. And let's see, Waluigi goes on number three. And Luigi, what do you got, buddy? You gonna use that mini mushroom? I know how to call him, or do I know how to call him? Call him? I just met him out. Know. We need to wrap this thing thing up. We got a two. One, a two. <laughs> when I'm calling out the number of spaces that you walk, that's when you know things are going down, down, down to the ground. But I need to record more for the sake of my mouth that's gonna get torn apart tomorrow. Mario Speed Wagon. Wagons, not Wackens. It's walking. Mario Speed Walking. Because I'm talking. Okay. We're not doing Christopher Christopher Walking right now. It's, uh, it's, uh, trying to race on the speedway. I'm torn down with blood. Head and step on the gas with the light turns green. Accelerate in gears when the meter's blinking. It's when you're time to shift gears. You want to wait for the... I think there's a vibration? It's either... Vi there's a little vibration in your controller or... You have to look for the light. This is a minigame that's like very easy to mess up. You know what? And it's also weird that you gotta hold down R to go forward. It's not like Mario Kart, you don't hold down it beforehand because then you'll get in trouble. Go. Okay, that's when you wanna do it. Okay, yeah, there's a little vibrate. When you feel the vibrate, that's when you click it. And it should be good to go. There you go. If you mess it up, then you get them going like zero miles an hour, and it's like really awkward. But I think we didn't have to worry about that. Ten corns, and wow, I got corn domination over here, so we don't have to worry about that.
prone. I definitely have the coin star, and I'm pretty sure I have the only happening space, so that's cool too. And then the minigame star. I don't know, I've been losing a lot of minigames this time around, so maybe it's somebody else. Oh wait, is... Uh, no, he just didn't have any coins. I was like, oh, it was last turn already? No, it's because he got no money. The star is... All the way over there. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm gonna trust in my bad rolling skills to where I won't get a... I won't get a fifteen. And... Use a Mega Mushroom just to make my journey a little bit shorter. It'd be better to use it when I'm far away as opposed to too close, because then that would just result in bad stuff. Yep. And, uh, yep, crummy roll for the win. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, just go ahead and grab another one, because why not? Not because why not, it's because it's required. Well, like, I want a mushroom! Take it away! Uh, Waluigi can't afford nothing. Oh, this could be bad. Uh, and actually, no, he doesn't have money. Oh, hey, cool. Party at my place. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Luigi Star, he's got himself a three. And hey, there he's gonna be hanging out with Wario. Oh, wow, someone actually gets to buy an item for once. And of course, it's a magic lamp. Uh, better get a good roll next turn, otherwise, that uh, star is no longer mine. I mean, he does have enough to afford it, which is crummy. At least I got the first genie of the game, because it'd be crummy if Luigi got to experience the legendary Mario Party 4 genie before I did. Money belts. Okay, new minigame. And it's coin collecting, so everyone's a winner, unless you don't get any coins. <laughs> so, this is the coin collecting bonus game. Avoid the cookies and sweets on the belt and grab as many coins as you possible. But I want the cookies and sweets. Just move around with the squiggly thing, and they just move around too, so... One person gets first grab at the coins, but they're working by themselves, and the three people, they get whatever one doesn't get. But they're working as a team of three, so it's a lot easier for them to pick things up. Which is very, very cool. Uh, let's go grab that, and that. So it's very impossible to get every single coin, so don't worry about it. It's just a matter of getting what you can. Uh, get that, and that. Uh, just make sure you get all the coin bags. Those are always very important! Make sure you don't fall off, because that'll waste time for you. You do come back, but just... Time waster. Uh, go up here. And, oh no, coin bag! Oh, yes, I got the coin bag! I a worthy sacrifice. Uh, get that. And that! There you go. 28 coins, and they got 15.